This is one of three videos in our series on thinking logically. In this video we discuss determining the logical conditions that affect the outcome of a decision. Let's take another look at the scenario of travelling to school. We've discussed the importance of identifying the points in a solution where a decision needs to be taken. In this scenario, the decision is, do I walk to school or do I take the bus? We also need to determine the logical condition that affects the outcome of a decision. In this scenario, the conditions would be as simple as, is it sunny, is it raining or is it cold? The logical condition in this scenario is, is it raining? This is our Boolean expression, which could be part of an if statement. It would evaluate to either true or false. It is this logical decision that affects the decision to either walk to school or take the bus. Now, you're unlikely to see this sort of scenario in an exam. Instead, it's much more likely you'll be required to write the Boolean expression required for a specific decision point and identify which program statement it could be part of. Try this out with a highlighted decision point in this flowchart that's following the process of a user logging on to a computer system. Pause the video and see if you can work it out. So we've got a number of options. You could decide that this is part of an if statement and you could say if incorrect login attempts is greater than three, then and branch the code in one of two directions. Now you might have looked at this and decided, oh, but this can happen up to three times. There can be up to three incorrect logins before an account's locked. So actually this logical condition here, this Boolean expression, should be part of some form of iteration. You might have chosen to say, while incorrect login attempts is less than four, we carry on prompting the user to log on. Or maybe do the following code until the incorrect login attempts is greater than three. Now this will depend on the language you're using and what statements you have available to you, but hopefully you've got something on the lines of the various options we've shown you here. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key question. What do we mean when we talk about the importance of identifying the logical conditions that affect the outcome of a decision? To help get your head around everything to do with computational thinking, we have a freely available downloadable cheat sheet. It's got two sides to it. There's a basic poster that reminds you at a top level what the five different strands are. And on the back, there's a much more detailed explanation. This resource is completely free from student.craigandave.org. Just scroll down and select the section that says A-level revision. You will then see a section called OCR, AS and A-Level, and there's a number of cheat sheets in there, including two versions of the computational one. Just click download to get the zip file.